Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Yes, it is finally here. And After five very, very, very long weeks. Yep. Yep, yep. So, so we know that the SmackDown Tag Team Championship will be defended on the pre-show. Yes. The Bludgeon Brothers versus... The Good Brothers. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. <laughs> The club, the bro- uh, good brothers, whatever you want to call them. I love them. They're yeah, good. unfortunately. Uh, they don't lose. Yeah. A, it's on the pre-show, and B, I think they're just trying to give the Bludgeon Brothers opponents until uh, sanity, sanity comes. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't see the club winning really at all. It's unfortunately, sad. as much as I would like it to happen. Yeah. Um, I I agree. It the last sucks. match between the two, we saw Carl Anderson beat uh, Luke Harper, right? Yeah. And we were, were surprised that we didn't see uh, Luke Gallows versus Eric Rowan. That but. would be the normal way that they do things. But yeah. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be uh, it's just another run-of-the-mill pre-show match. Yeah. Oh, not to get off topic, but uh, this week we were supposed to see Sin Cara versus Andrade. Oh, yeah, but, uh, that's right. Sin Cara was selling the injuries at the hands of Andrade last week. Sure. Whatever. So, yeah, there was that. Yeah. Not that that was important at all. But... No. Just something I remember that we didn't talk about in our podcast. Um, yeah, man. Gotcha. That was it. Um, all right. So, up next, we have the Raw Tag Team titles. Uh, we got Matt and Bray versus the B Team. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd like to see the B Team win. Well, However... I don't think they're going to. I don't know, because I don't know where they're going after it. Probably nowhere. Because, I, I mean, if they win it, whoever's going to take it off them is just going to squash them. Probably. And that kind of buries Matt and Bray. Yeah. Not that I think they care. But like but, I said, we don't know, is this going long term? Is this a one and done? Well, they're going to stay a team for a while. Matt and Bray? No, no. no oh, I was no, talking no. about the B team. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, duh. What else are they going to do? Exactly. Nothing. Um. Yeah, I'm going to say that maybe they lose but continue the feud that's my yeah. thought <clears throat> that's so, fair matt and bray yeah i mean there's always that possibility that they pull out a a fast one i just don't see that happening i know it's tough to say but so whatever whatever exactly. this is not really see this is a pay-per-view full of exciting matches and then throwaway matches like it's... more so than normal Pretty much, yeah. Because yeah. the Money in the Bank matches are going to be good. Mm-hmm. Um, There's a lot of matches with question marks on them. Yeah, actually, like another thing about it, it's the money, just the Money in the Bank matches that are interesting. The yeah, moment, Shinsuke kind of versus AJ, whatever. At this point, it's not. Yeah, no. It's lost its novelty, more or less. Well, <clears throat> that's, I guess that's true. That's fair. Yeah. Um. So up next, we have uh, Asuka versus Carmella for the SmackDown Women's title. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I really think Carmella's going to retain. I I agree. I think so as well. Yeah. I don't think that Asuka is going to win it just yet. Yeah. Especially the way that Carmella's been going. Mm. I think they want to build her some more. Yeah, because and, this will just absolutely... It, it'll be done. That's yeah. it. It's like, oh, I guess you were wrong after all. And right. It'd just be. Um, there was a rumor that James Ellsworth was supposed to come back. But I guess he's booked in, like, China. Really? On Sunday? Oh, yeah. Oh, so that's not even possible, uh-uh. or supposedly? No. That's, that's interesting. But, I mean, who knows? Anything's Everything possible. could be a work. Well, yeah, because they... Which like, would be fine. That would actually be... Well, that's, it would be nice, because yeah. I don't think they liked the fact that it was probably leaked, that there's a chance that he could be. Right. Um, but it was like with the Hardys, where like they no one thought there was any way they were going to be at WrestleMania. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Uh, WrestleMania 33. 33. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um, what's going on over there? I don't know. Stuff's locking up. I was just going to the interwebs. Oh, okay. To see but if... that's still going? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Um, so up next, we'll go with the other women's uh, title. Yeah. Ronda Rousey versus Nia Jax. Even though there is a possibility it does main event the show. Uh, there's a very strong possibility yeah. that it does. Um, it's got to be Rousey, right? Uh, I would think so, but I mean, I don't know. You think they'd have, her, have Nia look bad on Raw and... On the pay-per-view? Yes. Yeah, I guess that's at, true. At, They're going all in on Rousey. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go with 
Ronda Rousey. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Yeah. And just just that name makes you know that they are like fully invested. Yeah. Even if it's not like yeah, obviously she wants to be a part of it, but oh, I don't know if that's this, gonna pan out for her. This is just gonna be the down. SmackDown Women's Division of last year. Where yeah. Charlotte was the champion and there was everybody underneath her. Yeah. Because if you put, I mean, really, those two are the only ones that are going to stand out. I mean, granted, we've seen Sasha Bailey and others beat Nia, but put the belt on Rousey. and That's really what you're going to get. Yeah, it's going to be all over. Yeah, but I mean, it is what it is. If somebody on Raw wins the money in the bank, then maybe it'll get a little interesting, but just, like you said, it doesn't really make sense. No. Um, <clears throat> all right. So uh, up next, we'll go with Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. Yeah. Um, what you think, man? I think the ship has sailed on Shinsuke winning. I think AJ's going to ret- retain here. I agree as well. There's been a lot of uh, us picking the same stuff. Yeah, but... I just, none of them I really feel confident, or at least skeptical enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because I'm pretty confident in each of my picks so far. At the yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, we kind of went with a safe choice on most of them, and that's the champion retaining their title. Yeah. Um. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to talk about. This feud's been going on for such a long time. Yeah, no. Um, um, there's really nothing to build off of it here. I mean, a lot of people have said that you know the cup could come into play this time around <laughs> it it's so obvious they need to use it yeah um all right so uh then we have roman reigns versus jinder mahal in a a match that doesn't have any stipulation or anything yeah roman's going over duh yeah There's roman no wins gonna win. um all right daniel bryan versus big Cass. daniel bryan won last time i mean it's almost like you have to have Cass win. Yeah. But. It, it doesn't make any sense. It, that, and then <clears throat> it's going to keep going. And we don't want that. It's true. Um, but at the same time, how do you put I don't understand, Big Cass over Daniel Bryan? I don't understand why Daniel Bryan won the first match. They should have had him lose, and then this makes more sense. All right. But. Or do we do the lose, or win, lose, win? Maybe. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, whatever. Um, I'm really, I'm, I'm not confident in Big Cass winning, but it doesn't make sense to have him lose. Yeah. That's the problem. It's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like everything says that this outcome is going to happen, mm-hmm. except for the fact that normally that's just not how they do things. Well, that is very true. Yeah. Um. Well, whoever you pick, I'll pick the opposite. How about that? Thanks. No problem. Put it on me. I try um, to help. Yeah, I guess I'll pick Daniel Bryan. You can have big kids. There we go. I'll take the big ass. Uh, <laughs> typing all kinds of strange Yeah, words. that's all right. Uh, what are we going to look at next? Maybe the Intercontinental Championship match? The brother versus brother match? Yes. Seth versus Final Form Seth. The guy that looks that, like he ate Seth. That's what you're going with? What? Right. Oh, the that, Final that Form Seth? Me. Yeah. Um, um, I don't think this feud's going to be over. No, no. Um, I think it eventually will lead to Elias taking the title off him. Really? Yeah. You think that? If they're going to go with a push for Seth. Oh, yeah, I guess that's a good point. Someone needs to take it. Yeah, and I feel like Elias, you might as well. You're not going to do much with him. He can. The Intercontinental title will be fine with him. Raw's mid-card to lower mid-card is kind of garbage anyway. And if you have a champion that's on TV, the IC title becomes less... uh, I guess it's less of a burden to mm-hmm. carry. Yeah. So you don't need to have... Well, yeah, it won't be in the spotlight like it is now with Seth, and that's why it makes so much sense yeah, for like the mid-card w- title to be on an upper mid-card main eventer. Yeah. Like it is with yes. Seth, like it was with Roman, like it was with The Miz. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> Absolutely. that's fair. Um, but I yeah, see- Seth wins here. Yeah. Win, and, probably and then, lose it at Extreme Rules, and then... And then you can move on from there. Yeah. Maybe they do a triple threat at SummerSlam with Seth, Seth, Roman, and Brock. We've already established that that's fine. Oh, yeah. Um, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so up next we'll go with the women's Money in the Bank match. 
Oh, man. Here is actually some topic of conversation. And it kind of leads back to the whole idea of do they want to have <clears throat> Raw win one and SmackDown, Smackdown win another? Other. Yeah. Do they want one show to win both? Which obviously are the only two options. But yeah, um, it's... I feel like Raw would have to win at least one of them, just because it's... They need it. Yeah, that's really it, because they have three hours to fill, and they don't do a good job of doing that now. And it's funny, because if I had to pick... <laughs> SmackDown both, win both of them. <laughs> yes. Not not even based off of like having a preference of SmackDown. It's mm-hmm. just the people that make the most sense are both on SmackDown. Um, yeah. So what my thought was while watching SmackDown last mm-hmm. night is that Becky Lynch should win. Makes uh, all the sense in the world. Because you can have her um, beat Car- take it from Carmella or whatever, and then you have a built-in feud with uh, Charlotte because they've been very competitive. It mm-hmm. was even furthered um, last night some more. Mm-hmm. So you can have another like kind of like uh, Ronda and... Nia start friendly and then kind of lead, but just don't do that part. Yeah, just have it like a friendly competition where they just want to one up each other, mm-hmm. um, and that would work fantastically. However, um, and this kind of like this has to do with what we were, I was saying earlier mm-hmm. is that I think that the men are more likely to win on SmackDown. SmackDown. Absolutely. So it makes me want to pick someone from Raw that's, to be safe. That's my thinking as well. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> it will not be Alexa. She had plenty of time in the spotlight. Mm-hmm. This isn't her thing. It won't be Natalia. So it's pretty much between Sasha and Ember. Yeah. I don't know if Sasha needs it. No, but they might be able to further... You can flip her heel. I was going to say, it. if the only thing would be is if you turn her heel. Right. Um, and then she starts to do it properly. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's it's because, like you said, the women's title picture is really what kind of books you in a corner here. Mm-hmm. But again, the men on SmackDown make so much more sense mm-hmm. because you have Brock there. And yeah, we'll get to that. We'll talk about when we get yeah. to that match. Um, you know what I'm actually going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to go the opposite and I'm going to pick. I'm actually going to pick Becky. And then say someone from Raw All right. is going to win it. Just because, you know, mm-hmm. I, I, I don't want to pick someone from the same All show. Right. Well, like, no, who I think is actually going to win yeah. is... Well, Becky's a good choice. It, that yeah. would have been my pick personal if it wasn't pick. For the fact. Yes. Yeah. But I, I think I'm going to go with Sasha, actually. That's, it, it's, it's funny because there's so many, like like, capable people. Right. But at the same time, there's, like... Who actually mm-hmm. makes sense? Granted, <laughs> Carmella and Baron Corbin, neither of them made any sense last year. That is true. So, mm-hmm. doesn't mean anything. Um, but yeah, we just it, we don't know how Ronda's going to be booked. Mm-hmm. It, you know, and that kind of kills Nia yeah. too. Any momentum she's had. Yeah, pretty much anybody's going to look weak compared right. to Ronda right. after if Ronda wins. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so. I mean, we um, could be completely wrong on everything. Like, uh, and I actually ends up pulling it out or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. It's mm-hmm. just that would be weird. It's yeah, just, it'd be unexpected. The well, way that especially they'd... because how much stock they have in Ronda and everything like that. Although, technically speaking, if they wanted to treat her like a regular competitor, yeah, she, yeah. she would lose. Because if there's anybody else, we'd say she's going to lose. That's true. So whatever. That's fair um all right men's money in the bank yes uh this could main event we don't know no we, we think that it probably will be ronda and um uh, naya but this well, is another I, I think if, main if any championship match main events there's a possibility of a cash in uh, having the um money in the banks mm-hmm. already taking place yes Last year, did the Money in the Bank match go on yeah, last? Yeah, that, la- that went on last. Okay. So it was Chinder versus Randy, right? Yes, that's yeah. right. Okay, they didn't want that. Yeah, because it was a SmackDown uh, exclusive. All right. Um, so. Yeah, this, again, this is Raw, Brock Lesnar. I mean, we've seen Braun versus Brock before. Mm-hmm. Did not go as planned. No. Or as expected, I should say. 
Um, Bobby Roode is not beating Anybody. Brock Lesnar. No, no, no. Bobby Roode is probably number eight to win. Yeah. Um, so Finn and Owens both have good points where they've never been able to get their rematch. So. Yeah, that was how this whole thing started with them. Yeah, right? with that them going together. Yeah. Arguments. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on the SmackDown side, you have The Miz, who is a very, very good favorite. Yes. Because The Miz is on the cusp of a main event push to begin with. Mm-hmm. Um, and this I would just assume make they'll it... start making him a little more serious after the whole thing with the New Day and everything. Yeah, well, this is more of a try to get a little bit of... Uh... <sighs> It's more of giving him something to do yeah. in the midst of this. Mm-hmm. Because if you just have him... Well, the options are Rusev, Joe, and one of the New Day. They're yeah. all heels, technically. Yeah. So you can't really have him match up against anybody. Mm-hmm. So the New Day make the most sense. Yeah. And having the silliness of the New Day kind of... And Miz's ability to play off of it. Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So That's fair. Um, And then we got Joe. Mm-hmm. Who obviously needs to be taken seriously. Yeah. But at the same time, you would imagine that Joe's going to be AJ's next opponent anyway. Right. That, yeah, retain. that's because that, that's what who I would like to pick. Even though every time I pick Joe to win something, he doesn't win. It's true. He's booked very poorly. He is. Um, and then, Made to look good every week, but come to pay-per-views? Nah. Yeah. Uh, Rusev, while everyone would love for it to happen, is not going nah. to happen. Nah. Um, and then a member of the New Day. We yeah. don't know who. Probably Big E. Yeah. Um, although I wouldn't mind seeing any of them because, you know, they're all great. Mm-hmm. Kofi's great with the big spots. Xavier's... Um, I'm not, he's just a very underrated wrestler. Yeah, he's I much think. better than everyone seems to think because he's not the big guy and he's not the experienced guy. He's, he's just... He was the guy that for the longest time that was never in their tag matches. It was always Kofi and Big E. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then he got some time to shine, and he really took advantage. So uh, now that we've named all the competitors, do you have an opinion on who you think? I still want to pick Joe because I like the pick. Uh huh. And I would just—I think him with the briefcase would be fun. Yeah, I guess because he likes to threaten people. Mm-hmm. It's just his threats are usually empty. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. So you're gonna go with Samoa yeah, Joe? Yeah, I'll go with the Samoa Joe. All right. He screwed me over so many times. Yeah, why not one more? Yeah, exactly. Samoa Joe. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna pick someone from Raw. You're gonna pick Finn? No. Pick Kevin pick Owens. Kevin Owens. Yeah. Yes. Because he, it, it, money in the bank's made for him. It really is. The only reason why he doesn't make more sense than The Miz is the fact that Brock Lesnar has the title. And if you take the title off of Brock Lesnar, he immediately has viability. Oh, absolutely. At yeah. any time. So, well, I think bronze he, champion. Yeah, <laughs> but still. He could. Kevin Owens really put up a good fight against Braun a couple well, weeks that, ago. They've really made Braun look human, so to speak, recently. Yeah. and that's Except for last night. Or well, Monday, Monday night. Monday night, yeah. But um, I think Kevin Owens is a smart pick. I honestly think that The Miz will. Yeah. But it, in terms of, like, cohesiveness, my, my thought, if they're going to do one each, it makes more sense for the, the women's to go to SmackDown yeah. than it does for Raw. Yeah, because we're not going to get probably aj versus daniel bryan or anything like that i think no. daniel bryan will be out of the title picture for a little while anyway yeah it's certainly not now no so but i mean shinsuke winning it could put you know change everything up that's yeah, true but uh we both picked aj right neither of us think that's actually gonna happen no nope. so. but yeah yes that is our money in the bank preview and predictions video yes if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye